most energy storage assets in Great Britain use an optimizer. You might have heard them called route to market providers, aggregators, operators, trading partners. But what do they do? Well, they do a crucial job getting batteries into electricity markets and services so they can make as much money as possible. They support owners by controlling assets and designing trading strategies that maximize earnings. And as ancillary services move nearer to real-time procurement, the role of optimizers is becoming more important. Optimization is complex, and optimizers have to make lots of decisions in real time to make sure assets bring in the best returns for their investors. This is where they really earn their fees. For example, they must forecast power prices so they can charge a battery when prices are low, then sell power back to the grid when prices are higher. They also submit bids into frequency response markets and control the battery to make sure it has enough state of charge to provide the service. Most likely, they will do this all at once, which is why this process is complicated. As complexity grows, some optimizers are building technologies that do this automatically. So how do optimizers actually make money? Well, there are many fee structures that can be negotiated between owner and optimizer, but most work on a profit sharing basis. This means that optimizers take a percentage of gross or net revenues. That way, incentives are aligned. Some larger optimizers offer floor prices, which mean they will guarantee to make a minimum amount of money for a battery. These arrangements are good for asset owners who want protection against underperformance, but they are usually more expensive and end up with higher overall fees. Generally, floor prices are long-term contracts, sometimes lasting five to 10 years. To find out more about how floor prices work, check out our floor prices video. Like, share, follow. See you next time.